CRUD using MongoDB. In our previous sections, we have uh, seen how to do the same using RoboMongo software and then using Mongo Chef. Now we are going to see about how to do the same CRUD operations with a Mongo Booster. Every tool has its own unique way of operating. Let us explore how MongoDB does the same operations. Initially, we'll be doing a connection to Mongo server. We'll be creating a database. We'll be creating collection under that database. These are uh, simple. Then we'll be creating documents. We'll be reading the documents. We'll be updating and deleting them. So let us do the first part. I mean, all the seven steps using Mongo Booster. It's very, very simple. So the first step is to connect. You can create your own connection like this and you can provide a name for your connection. If your server is running in a different port, you need to edit the port over here. Click save. So the connection will be saved like that what it has been for my machine. Let me disconnect this. Already I have connected to that. The first step is to create a database. That's very easy. Right click over here. Create database. Database is created. The next step is to create a collection. Right click on the database name. Click create collection. Collection is created, but currently there are no documents in that collection. To insert a document, right click over here, click insert documents. This is different when compared to RoboMongo software, because in RoboMongo we have been presented with a window in which we can edit the JSON data directly. Here we have been presented with a query. Inside the curly braces, you need to feed in your JSON data. In our case, it will be a student data, student ID. Let me make this as a number, let it be 12, comma. Four sixty. So this is the first set of data. Let me insert a few more. Here the ID is going to be 13. Mark is going to be 470. ID is 16 or 15. Mark is going to be 490. On clicking run in the toolbar, the data will get inserted. You can see in the results, three records are inserted. Now to view the data, right click on the collection, click view documents. Similar to other clients, we have three views here, table view, JSON view and the default tree view. You can set the default view in the options that uh, let me show it later. This is a table view of the data we have inserted. The next step is to update the data, right click here, edit document, you can easily change the data over here and then run. So we got a modified one, updated one existing records, again to view it right click click view documents in table view the next step is to delete document that you can easily do by right clicking here remove document or you can right click here and then click remove documents you can give the selection criteria here 
for example i want to remove the student id 13 this is the beauty of mongo booster the field names will be auto populated i mean it appears in the intellisense On clicking run, it must remove the data. Let us cross check the same. Now we have only two documents. The IntelliSense support is very, very good in Mongo Booster when compared to other softwares which I have worked. Moreover, there is a very, very cool feature that is when you keep the cursor over the method, you want to see the definition, the API will be shown in a pop-up the api shown also has a example of implementation for example in this case you can find db.products.find quantity greater than 25 and less than 35 is an example given for this find method so mongo booster is a great tool for beginners as well as for advanced users and saves you a lot of time when compared to the other softwares especially for editing the queries or creating new queries. With this, we have done the basic seven steps, that is to create database. Then we have created a collection under that. Under the collection, we have inserted documents, deleted documents, viewed documents, and then updated documents. Now to the next set, that is to copy collection copy document, export collection, drop collection, drop database and disconnect from the server. So these are very easy. Copying a collection is very easy. Right click on the collection name, click copy collection. Collection is copied. You can either paste to a database like this or you can paste to the same database. Three options will be presented. Either you want to append a collection, I mean append to existing target collection or replacing the existing target collection or create a new target collection. These options we haven't seen in the other tools. I'm going to create a new target collection. Copying started. So copy is successful. We got two documents like that of the source one. To copy documents, it's very easy. Prior to copying, I wish to edit the document. The total marks is triple five. I'm going to change this as triple four. On down executing, it must update it. Updated. Let me cross verify the same. Table view. So we got a document with total marks triple four. I'm going to copy this document to calls student data collection. That's very easy. Right click on the document, copy document to the clipboard and then select the collection. View documents. Right click, paste. The issue will be the unique ID. Do remember that we just duplicated this collection here. So if I'm going to execute this, I'll be getting a unique error. A duplicate key error I got. So let me change this object ID to something like this. Ah, yes, sorry, I need to remove this. got executed. Let us view the documents. We got three documents. So this is how copy documents work. The next step is to export the collection. That's easy. Right click on the collection. Give export collection. 
you can either use the built-in tool in mongo booster or you can use the mongo export utility format as json you can even select the csv format the fields required delimiter i'll be selecting comma delimiter yes that's the default one and the target file name This tool is very friendly, you can see here, this is the CSV content, what we have exported. So we have seen how to copy document, how to copy collection, how to export collection, now to the destruction mode, that is to delete the collection and drop the database and then disconnect from the server. Delete collection is very easy, right click here drop collection then now drop database right click on the database click drop database then database gone now to disconnect right click disconnect We have covered all copy collection we have done copy document is done export collection to csv we have seen drop collection we have done drop database is done and disconnect from the server is also done so we have seen our demo using mongo booster software as i have mentioned earlier mongo booster is very very friendly very powerful even for beginners as well as for the advanced users